Hello. Hello, can you hear me? I can, Wally, yes. Yeah, is that Spogger? It is, yes. Oh, Spogger, it's nice to speak to you. I I didn't wake you up or anything, did I? You didn't, no. Uh, I've got a house guest. So I hear you've got chat host Jan and chat host Dave with you at the moment, haven't you? I do, yes. Can you, can, for people who've never met them before, can you describe them? Uh, they're a couple of weirdos. <laughs> who, yeah, they're just they're just really strange looking. Uh, is Dave wearing his kilt at the moment? Dave's not wearing his kilt now. Okay, normally when he meets ladies, nice ladies like you, um, he always wears his kilt. So that's a bit weird. Um, uh, what's Jan wearing at the moment? Uh, Jan's in her pyjamas <laughs> with big fairy slippers on. She's not in her birthday suit then. No, no, she's got pyjamas. Okay, and uh, don't forget, Jan is allergic to sif and flash with bleach. So don't let her in the kitchen if you use those things, okay? <laughs> Okay, well, because her face will explode. Really? Yes, I've, I've I better se- get it out of my kitchen then, where she just runs. <laughs> I've seen it before. It's not very nice. <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any alcohol in your place? Uh, no, I'm teetotal. Oh, that's good because uh, otherwise you, you might find it's all gone when Dave leaves. Right. Okay, I will strip search him before he leaves. And uh, Dave is allergic to tea and biscuits, so definitely don't give him any of those. Okay, Dave's drinking coffee. Oh, that's even worse. Um, is he starting to puff up a bit? Uh, not at the minute, no. But I've got antihistamines ready for if I get off the mono explode. He's very antihistamine. He's a uh, very antihistamine. Um, uh, uh, anyway, look. Uh, do you want to play knock knock? Uh, yes, go on then. Okay. Now, do you, do you know how this works? Or shall I explain it to you in a really boring way? Um, you should explain it in a really boring way. Okay then. Right. Um, I'm about to give you a choice of numbers between one and one hundred, and I've got one hundred yep. envelopes here that have got different amounts of cash inside them. So you'll need to give me a number between one and one hundred, and I'll open that envelope for you. Are you clear on that? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, when I tell you what's in that envelope, if you're not happy with the amount and you think you can do better, you can gamble and choose a different number. But if that right, okay. if, if that envelope has a lesser amount in it, then you'll be stuck with that amount. Okay. But it's all free, so I'm sure you'll be happy whatever you win. Yeah, it's all a bonus. Unless it's a pound. Well, yeah. I don't think there's any pounds. You, I think you'll be all right. Okay. So, Spogger, do you do you have a lucky number? What number would you like between one and one hundred? Sixty-two, please. Sixty-two. Hang on a minute. Uh, I've got to find. Okay, right. Number sixty-two for Spogger. Why are you called Spogger, by the way? Um, it's my son's nickname. It sounds like something you unblock trains with. That one, I'm pretty sure it could be. Okay, uh, right then. So number sixty-two. Are you ready for this? Yes. Right at the moment, Spogger, for number sixty-two, you have won seventy-five pounds. Very nice. Seventy-five quid for free for number sixty-two. Now you can keep that; it's yours, or you can do the gamble and go for a different envelope. No, I think I'll keep that. Are you sure? Yes. Are you absolutely sure? Um, yes. Okay, well done. You've won £75. Spog up! I hope you, thank you very much, enjoy well. spending the money and have a great weekend. Okay, thank you and you. And you look after Dave and Jan for me, please. I'll do my best. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye.